Rakai District Woman MP Juliet Chinyamatama's bid to express interest in the position of Speaker of the 11th Parliament hit a snag after officials from the NRM Electoral Commission rejected her submission on grounds that she did not meet the requirements as provided for by the NRM Constitution. We have checked the, our record as NRM Electoral Commission of our members who have made it to the 11th Parliament and she was not among the members of the 11th Parliament. If she's NRM leaning, well and good, we can cooperate. But in terms of participating in party primaries, according to the law, that is not allowed. Which I think is very unfair because you saw the Chankwanzi, the recent Chankwanzi retreat, where the independent NRM leaning members of Parliament were invited and, and they finished their three weeks there. Uh, we saw this in the previous parliaments. This is what has been happening. For as long as you subscribe to that party, you always uh, go by the programs of the party. Despite the rejection, Chinyamatama has vowed to contest as an independent for the post of speaker. Meanwhile, the exercise to receive expression of interest from NRM MPs intending to stand for speaker and deputy speaker continued with Kakumiro District Woman Member of Parliament Robina Nabanja and West Budama, Thaus Member of Parliament Jacobo both of both expressing their interest to run for deputy speaker. We have our guidelines and rules. Any person standing for the office of speaker is supposed to be dragged into that seat. That, is, has, that has been our norm. So for me, as a disciplined person, I had to wait until this time when they say, express your interest. Each of the legislators boasted of having an impeccable record in different aspects of leadership. My interest that I've expressed today is to occupy the office of the deputy speaker, to give leadership, not dealership, to give transformational leadership, not transactional. I'm coming with exposure and experience. Of course, among all of these who have come, I believe, you also see that I have experience. I've been a commission of parliament, and the commission of parliament is one of those people at parliament, or leaders at parliament, who now, for example, who are the administrators of that parliament. And therefore, I am coming with that exposure, that experience, and of course, the zeal to work for the country. With only one day left to wind up the exercise of expression of interest, the post of deputy speaker has so far attracted four contenders, while only Rebecca Kadaga has successfully expressed interest in running for speaker. Aaron Mukama, NTV.